is Krolik and welcome to Gamers Explain Tutorials for Gamers Plane. Today I'm going to talk to you about tables. Now a table is a simple way of organizing data as you might know, but much like a spreadsheet or any other kind of organization. And so the way this really looks is um, you can see that in this character sheet that there are headers, columns, that sort of thing. Some of it is right justified, some of it is left. So there's different options of way you can create characters and um, different ways to use them as well. So if we look at <clears throat> this deadlines character sheet, now if I click on here, you can see that, hey, I've got all these different options. If I wanna make a writing, I just click that button and you can see that it actually populates the role with the appropriate um, information. So that's one use of a table. Um, if we look at Dara here, we'll see that there's a table across the top. It's just columns, way of organizing some stats. Here's the role table that gives me all of the skills and then the roles to populate with. And then here's another table that just has, you know, just a way of organizing the data. So um, how does that really look? Let's take a look. So looking at the character sheet, we see here, here is the first simple table. You see that there's a table command, closes the, the BB code at the end, and you just see this little magic vertical bar is what separates columns. And so in a carriage return at the end, to use very ancient nomenclature, um, advances to the next row. And then you can see that there's just these various vertical bars that separate each column. Um, <clears throat> the next table you can see here, and this is a longer one, so let's look at the top, table equals roles. Now that's what the post picks up down here. It picks up these roles. And so if we look at how that's situated, it's just exactly, it figures out which of these is the role. It might have to be the right-hand one and some labeling that you can choose. And so let's see that roles, I've labeled it trait skill role, and then it just picks it up on the other end. The other option for a table is if you want it to make a little bit prettier is HT, which gives it that kind of black bar headers at the top there. So I've just added, this isn't actually a, uh, <clears throat> there isn't actually headers in this table. So it's just highlighted the first one. Um, yeah, but it makes the same kind of header by just putting that HT. Um, the last one you can see are called stats. So this is, if we look at this character sheet, this is an Actum Cthulhu sheet character, and see that here we've got, so we've got that HT for the top one, stats. So you see this table, stats, attribute. And if we look at that, how that looks at, here we go, we see this header that I've added, and it's not actually a header, so it's just kind of highlighted the first row. And then the stats one is really just kind of right justified everything. So here I've taken the skills, the ranks, and then the focuses. So I know what, in this case, the red means is specialized. <laughs> but anyway, you can see that the right justification makes it a little bit easier to read, um, especially in numbers. So anyway, those are some of the options for tables when you're creating character sheets and some of them will also work in your posts as well. So you, if you wanna organize something, there you go. This is Krolik and this is Gamers Explained.